Hi everyone, Fanthony Antano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well, and it's time for another EP Love Roundup segment where I go over a bunch of shorter releases that I've been listening to that I think you should listen to too. I think they're pretty good. I think they're dope. I think they're cool. You may enjoy them. Uh, try them out. Uh, links and stuff so you can look them up are down below. I want to begin with this new EP of songs, just four tracks from singer and songwriter Rachel Chinariri, who some of you who watch the videos may remember, uh, made my EP of the year last year with Four Degrees in Winter. So she's coming through before a full-length album eventually with one more short batch of tracks. This one is shorter than the Four Degrees EP, but this uh, collection of songs is poppier, more summery, more indie pop influenced, very pretty and sweet and light on the ears, vocals mic'd very close, very intimately, and I am absolutely loving just how gorgeous and soft and occasionally melancholy the tunes and songwriting are on this record. The acoustic cut on the back end is really nice as well. Uh, so yeah, not only is this a cool collection of songs, not only is it just very sweet on the ears, but there is like this uh, conceptual heartbreak angle going on with it too. I didn't think Rachel would come through with another banger EP right after one banger EP, but uh, see seems she can, seems she has the ability and the power to do that. So, uh, you know, if you enjoyed Rachel's uh, last one, uh, check out this one as well, even though it is a cool little stylistic shift for her, and uh, certainly look forward to the uh, new album when that eventually drops. I want to give a shout out also to this new G. Jones and Eprim EP, Acid Disc 2. This thing contains basically a couple collaborations between these two, and then between those collaborations, we have them essentially alternating tracks one after the next. And yeah, like pretty much every song on this thing is some insane variation of acid with those like really grimy, squelchy bass lines, tons and tons and tons of breaks. Uh, there's even a track toward the back end that has more of an IDM flavor on it as well. And uh, th there are tracks that are more experimental and sound like so mutated in terms of like acid in general that it's it's barely even recognizable. I mean, as far as this genre goes, it's very forward thinking, it's very left field, it's very odd, but also aggressive, explosive, colorful too, killer production from end to end. Like, it's really awesome to see these two crossing over and collaborating so effectively and so creatively. And then all of the solo cuts in between, you know, the two collaboration songs on the record feel almost like, you know, a, a, a competition between the both of them to see who can <laughs> come up with like, the most messed up or coolest variation of this genre, this style. So uh, yeah, really neat and really awesome. A little collection of tracks over here. Acid Disc 2, it's awesome. I would like to shout out singer and rapper Sebi on this uh, yellow or VV yellow EP that is over here. Uh, I've been listening to Sebi for a little bit because many of my fans are into Sebi stuff and recommend uh, Sebi's music whenever there is uh, some new stuff from him. And while I've been a little on the fence with Sebi stuff in the past because uh, maybe the fusions of trap and pop and hyper pop and electronic music aren't quite to my liking, I feel like there's a really awesome balance uh, being struck on this EP over here. Like, so many songs on here sound bubbly, fun, bright, but then also braggadocious and in your face. The hooks are fantastic, the production is just so neon colored and overwhelming and uh, hard hitting, and there's an incredible sense of humor to many of these tracks too I like as well. Yeah, Sebi is really doing the thing, doing the thing on this EP, really enjoying it and looking forward to uh, hearing more stuff that is at least at this grade quality wise. And finally, I would like to shout out this uh, record slash volume one demos collection from Fat Lip and Blue live from the end of the world. And yeah, this thing is like a series of really cool lo-fi hip hop beats and great bars, great uh, chemistry, great collective energy, uh, some cool features from front to back, uh, Mad Libs in the mix, Hemlock Ernst is in the mix as well. Knowledge is on this project too. So, you know, look, it's it's rough around the edges. It is titled as a demos collection, so it's like not the cleanest or most high quality thing that you've ever heard from Blue, especially as of late, uh, because Blue has really been on a creative streak. But even these tracks, even these like, you know, leftovers, these side cuts are sounding pretty fucking 
fucking sick, and uh, they are certainly worth it for any fan of blues stuff uh, to listen to, especially if you have been enjoying uh, the streak as of late. So, so yeah, those are the EPs. Those are the shorter releases I would like to point in your direction right now. Hopefully you try them out, give them a shot, give them a listen, spend some time with them, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Transition, have you given any of these projects a listen? Did you love them? Hate them? What would you rate them? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Blue, Fat Lip, EPs, Rachel Chinariri, Eprim, G. Jones, and uh, also <laughs> Sebi uh, forever.